Uh, next question. Best advice Shawn Michaels has given you. Oh man. <laughs> uh, I don't know. Uh, that's a tough one. I, I was in his class for like two years. I think he just molded me. You know, the, the most memorable, I, and I, this is off the top of my head, most memorable. I'm sure there's probably something else, but I, I remember there being, uh, we would watch matches back with him all the time and he'd give us his feedback and stuff. And I just remember there being this one match and I don't remember even who was, who was uh, wrestling, but he paused it and he just kind of kept rewinding, didn't say anything. He like rewinded, play it, rewinded, play it. And I just remember sitting there going like, this was a little early on. And I was like, ah, oh, no, is he like, did he lose his mind? Is he one of the, cause like, I didn't know him that well. I was like, ah, oh, it's crap. Like, are we getting the wrong Shawn Michaels here? And then he finally like spoke about it and it was him listening to the crowd. And, and he basically just questioned whoever like, Hey, do you think he could have went five seconds earlier here? And I just remember like, it's such a simple thing. And people, the only people who are going to get it are people like in, in wrestling probably, but it was his ability to listen to a crowd and like literally feel like the moment, like it, it's hard to explain it. Paul Heyman has this too. Me and him had a discussion about it with promos, but it, it, it's, it's feeling and hearing the energy and going like, I went three seconds too early. I could have got three seconds more, you know, and it, it's, it's not, everyone's going to get it. Uh, but I just remember him doing it in that class and me going like, this guy's a freaking genius. Like, uh, like, Oh, like, cause you hear people tell you all the time, Oh, listen to the crowd, hear the people, listen to people. But it was like he he gave you like this is how this is how I'm listening this is what because I, I'm telling you anyone else watching that tape in that round table and we had some really good wrestlers there I don't think anyone got it until he said it and it was just because you're just watching you know you just oh that was good but then for him it's like well could have it been better and it's it, it definitely has been a sticking point for me going forward uh, and we really got to perfect it uh, during our live events where we get to like travel and stuff. And obviously we haven't got to do that in a while, but I just remember countless moments on the road where you then come back and you'd watch the match, whether it was with Johnny or Adam or, or anyone. And uh, it was just, you were just perfecting it night in and night out. You were going, Oh, like we nailed it. We nailed it. We nailed it. You know, and you knew when you missed, uh, but it just, I think him awakening me to how to listen to the people and how to feel that energy shift and I'll give the same credit to Heyman. He did the same thing with me, but just like it, it's when you get it, it's, it's, a no, light bulb. it's a light bulb. And that's why I said, I don't think everyone will understand it, but when you get it, you get it and it, you'll never go back. 